What's up, gang? It's your girl, Patty, back for an awesome upper and lower body workout. The only thing you guys are going to need today is a mat because all of our exercises will be done on the floor. You heard that correctly. Every single movement, upper and lower body, will be all floor exercises. Other than a mat, all you need is two different sets of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can get water bottles. You can get even water jugs or even just use regular body weight if you're super duper new to fitness and of course have some water on the side. Let's get that upper body nice and warmed up. So we're gonna come up to our knees, all right? Our knees are gonna be hip shoulders apart. We're gonna extend those palms up towards the ceiling. Shoulders are down, core is tight, palms down and up. So I'm gonna just slowly just guide you through this warm up as I'm talking to you at the same exact time. So as always, you wanna make sure that you're getting in a good breathing technique from the very beginning. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Continue on those palm turns for five, four, three, two, hold it right there. We're gonna come right into that plank position. You're gonna place your hands directly underneath your chest. All right, come up to the balls of your feet. Open up those feet, shoulder width apart. Tuck those glutes in, that core is tight, your hips are up, that back is nice and flat. You're gonna hold that plank nice and strong, okay? In five seconds, you guys are gonna hinge your hips all the way back, come back to that full plank. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, push all that body weight into the balls of your feet, right back to that nice, strong, high plank. Let's go, we got eight. Exhale up, hinge it back for seven. Exhale in that plank, hinge it back for six. Exhale on that plank, hinge it back for five. Good job, we got four more. Hinge it back for four. Good work, hinge it back for three. Hold that nice strong plank, hinge it back for two. Feeling that upper body and that lower body get warmed up. Hold it up for one, hold it there for five, four, three, Two, lightly drop those knees to the floor. Awesome work. We're gonna turn over onto our backs. Just warming up those glutes, those hammies, little bit of those squats. You're gonna lie down, coming into getting ready for that glute bridge. Bringing your heels as close to your glutes as you can. Straight from here, we're gonna press up off our heels. Squeezing our glutes up at the top. Slow transition down, one vertebrae at a time through your spine, let's go. Press up off that heel, squeezing those glutes, getting that lower body nice and warmed up, and slowly bring it back down. We're gonna come up for eight, down, seven, release, good job, six more, six, bring it down, we got five, good job, make sure you're really squeezing those glutes up at the top, pressing up off those heels for four, slowly bring it down, bring it up for three, bring it down, two, Bring it down, and one. Awesome job, gang. We're gonna flip over like a pancake. We're gonna finish off with a good eight strong push-ups. Are you ready? Hands underneath your chest, come up onto the balls of your feet. You're gonna bring your chest to the floor, bring it up at that home, it's not too difficult. Come down to your knees, bring your knees past your hips, and we're gonna come and bring it right down. All right, whatever level of fitness you're at, you're either gonna do them in a plank or modified position. Let's pump out these eight pushes in three, Two, one, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo, hinge it back, shake it off, shake it off. Awesome job, gang. If you need to get as quick sip of water, go ahead and do so now. We have a little less than a minute. So the way that the workout is going to go today, we're gonna do four upper body movements two rounds, okay? Again, everything is gonna be on the back for the first half of our workout. Then I'm gonna give you guys a 90 second rest before we transition into that lower body. Are you ready? Get those dumbbells and let's get this workout started. So you're gonna lie back, start with whatever dumbbells you may need. I'm gonna start with my 10 and then increase it when that second round comes. So we're gonna lie it down. We have 15 seconds, so get ready. Bring those heels in, keep that back flat on the floor, dumbbells directly above your chest, bend at the elbow, bringing the dumbbells on the outside of your head, and extend right back up. You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. 
Extend at the elbow. You really want to work those triceps behind those arms. Extend all the way up. Make sure you inhale down. Extend up at the top. Now your arm should not be moving when you're doing this motion. All right, you're literally bending at the elbow. Bringing the dumbbells onto the outside of your head and extending up, working the back of your arms. You got less than five seconds. In three, two, and rest. Bring those dumbbells out. We're gonna do a generic chest press. All right, get ready. In three, two, one, let's go. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Now you wanna make sure that these dumbbells are touching each other above your chest. Rock it all the way up. Keep your eye level to the ceiling. Go at your own pace, all right? Don't worry if I'm maybe going a little bit too fast for you and you have to go a little bit slower at home. Do whatever you can to really just push yourself through this, all right? Three, two, and rest. Awesome job, game. We're gonna put both dumbbells together front of our chest, you're gonna come up for what's called a crush press, chest fly, center down. Let's go, so up, open, center, down. Let's go, push it up, open, center, down. Make sure that core is nice and tight. You are not arching that back. That back is fully flat on your mat, working those arms and that inner and outer chest. You got less than 10 seconds on this. Keep working, five, three, two, and rest. Grab only one dumbbell for this, okay? You're gonna keep those elbows locked. Press uh, the dumbbells directly above your chest. Bring it back, tap, and release it up. Let's go. Tap it up overhead, keep those arms nice and strong right above your chest. This is called a dumbbell pullover. This is one of my favorite exercises for shoulder and upper back work. Make sure that you are not arching your back, all right? You're keeping that back flat on the floor and that core is nice and tight. Keep going, we're finishing off this first round, nice and strong. Three, two, and rest. Good job, gang. We're gonna get right into the second round, starting with those skull crushers, okay? Get ready in three, two, one, lock it up, starting from the top. Bend at the elbow, dumbbells come outside of your head, extend all the way up. Remember, do not move your arms. All you're doing is bending at the elbow. Your arms still stay directly above your chest. I just realized, I didn't get my 12 pounds like I said, I lied. I said, second round, I'm gonna up it up. I didn't realize that, you know, it's 10 seconds, they go by fast. Finish off this second round nice and strong, feel that burn, we got it for three. Two, and rest. Good job, gang. We're gonna set up back for that ch uh, chest press. All right? Elbows come out, lock it up over the chest. Three, two, one, let's go. Lock it up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. I know those arms are burning. Even if maybe you're just using five pounds, eight pounds, 7.5s, I'm using 10 right now. Okay, usually my favorite weight is 12.5s and 15s and I'm even feeling it with the 10s. All right, keep those shoulders away from your ears, really working that chest and those biceps. Three, two, and those triceps. Rest, awesome job, gang. All right, we are on to the second to the last exercise. Back for that crush press to that chest fly. Dumbbells together above your chest, let's go. Press it up, open up on that chest fly. Bring it back to center, back down to your chest. Let's go, press straight up. Open up on that chest fly. Bring it in back to center. Nice, strong arms and strong core. You have less than 15 seconds. Push this through. I know that upper body may be burning, but that's exactly how you know it's working. I'm right there with you. I'm doing every single motion. Remember that, three, two, and rest. Awesome job, gang. Let's finish off this First, upper body segment, nice and strong. Grab onto that one dumbbell. Extend above, tap it up overhead. Let's go. Tap, extend right above your chest. Do not bend those elbows, all right? You really want to keep your arms nice and straight here. Keeping that core nice and tight, all right? And make sure that you're breathing. And as always, have fun with it, all right? Remember, it's not a punishment. This is self-love for your body. 
You got less than 10 seconds. We're gonna get that water rest. Stay strong in five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome job, gang. Awesome, 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 awesome work. Get some water. You do have a 90 second rest. In this time, I'm going to take the time to show you the lower body movements that we have coming, just so it doesn't have to be so rushed into getting into the last segment. All right, so we're gonna finish this off nice and strong. Everything that we're gonna do now, again, is we're staying on the floor, all lower body movements, and still using with the dumbbells. If at all, any time it becomes a little bit too difficult, X out the dumbbells and just use regular lower body weight. All right, so first exercise we're gonna get into, we have a little less than a minute. All right, so what you're going to do is, we are going to take one dumbbell. You're gonna lie down on your chest, all right? You wanna take the dumbbell, and if it's a little bit too difficult for you, all right, you can, see how it's a little difficult for me, all right? Grab it first, put it in between your feet. Notice how one side of the dumbbell, I'm cuffing it with my feet. You're gonna open up those hips slightly. Keep that forehead to the floor. We're gonna curl, extend down. Curl, extend down, using those hamstrings, all right? That's gonna be the first exercise. We got 10 seconds. Get ready, cuff the dumbbell. If it's a little too difficult for you, just use regular body weight. Three, two, one, let's do this. Remember, cuff the end of that dumbbell, bring it in, and tap it down. Using that hamstring, keep your eye level to the floor. All right, you really wanna curl, bringing in, that hamstring squeezing at the top. Again, if it's a little bit too difficult for you to do this with the dumbbell, forget the dumbbell, all right? Use regular body weight. We got three, two, and rest. Coming up onto tabletop position. Take that same dumbbell, place it behind your left knee, tabletop position, kick up and down. Let's go. Donkey kick and down. You really wanna squeeze that dumbbell behind that knee. And again, if this is too difficult for you, okay, use regular body weight. You got 15 seconds, all right? It's a beginner friendly workout because everything is very slow and low impact, but I know some of these movements can be a little bit difficult for some of you. And rest, switch over that dumbbell. We're gonna do the same exact movement now on the right kickback. Get ready in three, two, one, let's go. Up, down. Use that glue, kick it up, down. Keep that neck down. Keep your neck neutral with your spine. Keep that core nice and tight. Those hands should be directly underneath your chest. Nice, strong arms, strong core, all right? Really squeezing that glute up at the top. You got less than 10 seconds. Keep working. Three, two, and rest. Grab both dumbbells. Flip over to that glute bridge. Heels are in, all right? We're gonna do a regular glute bridge up. Toes, heels down, reset. Let's go press up off your heels. Onto your toes, heel down. Let's go. Press up off your heels, toes down, reset. Let's go. Up, toes, heel down. 10 seconds. Up, toes, heels down. You should feel this in your glutes and in your quads. And rest. Awesome job, gang. Let's finish off this last round strong. Back for those line curls. Cuff your feet with the dumbbells. Get ready. Three, two, let's go. Make sure that you're breathing here. Really use that hamstring to curl it in. All right? I know it can be a little bit difficult to hold that dumbbell with the inner part of your feet. All right, and as always, it's, if it's a little bit too difficult, just get used to doing this exercise with regular body weight, all right? If you don't have anything lighter at home. Three, two, and 
hand up and rest. Awesome job, King. Take that same dumbbell back on the tabletop position. Weighted donkey kick. Dumbbell behind that left knee. Get ready. Let's go. Kick. Down. Kick. Down. Okay, we are almost done with this, all right? Just breathe and push it through. This is a nice and quick little workout to get your body moving and flowing on a short amount of time. And you're still trying to hit mostly all your main muscle groups of the body, right? Less than 10 seconds. Six, five, three, two, and rest. Awesome job, gang. Same thing, now on that left leg. Sorry, right leg. Take that dumbbell behind that right knee. Set it up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Kick, down. Heel up, foot down. Heel up, foot down. Let's go, burn it out, gang. Feel that burn in your glutes. If you're not feeling it, you may be doing it wrong. Just guess what, homegirl here is feeling that burn. Let's do this. We got 12 seconds. Remember, this is the last and final round. After this, we are done with today's workout. Push it through. Five, three, two, and rest. Quickly come on to that back. Get ready for that glute bridge. Finishing it off nice and strong. Regular glute bridge on top of your toes. Three, two, one, let's go. So bridge, toes, heel, down. Bridge, toes, heel, down, let's go. Bridge, toes, heel, down. Let's go, we got less than 15 seconds. Really squeeze those glutes up at the top. We got less than 10 seconds. Finish this off nice and strong here. We got this, three, two, woo, we did it. Awesome job, babe. Awesome, awesome work. Let's go into a nice cool down stretch. If you made it this far, I'm super duper proud of you. Keep that left foot on the floor, take that right foot, bring it above your left knee, you're gonna take both hands, cuff it directly behind that left hamstring, and pull that left as close to your body as you can. You should automatically feel it in your lower glute as well as that right hamstring. Hold it out for 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch this out. Then that right knee, left foot on top of that right knee. Take both hands, grab behind that right hamstring, and now pull that right leg as close to you. Now you should feel that stretch in that left side lower left glute and that left hamstring. You guys did an awesome job today. And always remember it's super important to stretch afterwards. All right, you guys did absolutely amazing. And I appreciate those who continue to come and do these workouts. Awesome job. Release both hands and feet. Keep your knees bended. Send those hands out. Take your knees and bring them to the left side of your body. Getting in that nice lower back stretch. Good job. Five seconds, switch over to the right. Three, two, one. Transition both knees now to the right side. Ooh, I love this stretch. It's an awesome lower back stretch that I love. Stretch it up to the side. Hold it out for five, three, two, and hold it right there. Turn over into that tabletop position. Take that left arm, bring it back towards the ceiling, scoop it underneath that right arm. Pull that stretch for five, four, three, two, and slowly come back up into tabletop. Take that right arm, bring it back towards the ceiling, scoop it underneath that left, and hold that stretch there. That arm should be completely on the floor. Hold it out for five, for four, three, two, slowly come back up. Again, inhale all the way up, palm to center, exhale down. Last time, all the way up, palm to center, exhale down. 
You guys did an amazing job. I thank you for joining me on this workout. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. Peace.